Sometime around the year 2011, I approached one of the business owners in my country and begged him to allow me to hawk his product for him. Street hawking is the lowest kind of job you can ever do, and as a result, it's the job for the poorest and the illiterate. So, how did I find myself in such a mess? Well, three years before this time, I had abandoned school. I had not only decided to not collect my diploma certificate from the polytechnic I went to, I decided never to have anything to do with the classroom ever again in my life. I wanted to build a company of my own, and when the business world became unbearable for me, instead of looking for a job in a bank, I decided to be a slave because I love myself so much. Yes, my decision to do the ugliest job is as a result of my great love for myself, and I'll explain some details about that soon. As I try to show you the one difficult thing every rich person does before they become rich. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now, here's the thing: if you want to be rich, you have to love yourself enough to hate yourself. I know most people love themselves, but not enough. It's because you love yourself that you eat good food. It's because you love yourself that you want to have a nice job so that you can pay your bills and be comfortable. But it is also because you love yourself that you want to protect yourself against any harm, and that's where the problem lies. You can exist for hundred years and may never leave. You can be alive and try to avoid pains. You can protect yourself so much that you only do safe things, but you can't have a meaningful life without loving yourself enough to hate yourself. You can't live until you die. Jesus Christ in the Bible gives a brilliant analogy about the seed. What happens to the seed is that for them to grow, germinate, and become fruitful, they first have to die. We have to bury our seeds. They will die and grow. And it's only then they can bring forth the desired fruits. The same thing happens with your life and my life. You have to bury yourself and die before you can live the kind of life that matters. This is what most people don't want to do because they love themselves so much. Yes, most people love themselves so much, but they don't love themselves enough to hate themselves. You have to love yourself enough to bury yourself. Bury yourself with secret preparation. When I was in secondary school, the same as a high school in other parts of the world, I announced to two of my friends that I wanted to become the best student in the class. My friends laughed at me because, as at that time, I was just an average student. Because they laughed at me, I went back home determined to prove them wrong. I lied to my father so that my stingy father would give me money to buy books. I bought many books that no one else in my class had, and I started waking up early to read before going to school. Whenever I returned from school, I would say no to the TV and instead continue reading my books. Within a single year, I moved from being just an average student to being the best student in my class for about five subjects. That radical change didn't just make me proud of myself; it taught me an important lesson, which has stayed with me till this time, and that is. You must love yourself enough to be disciplined in the secret. I don't see many people doing this, and it makes me angry. Take for instance, a lot of people in my country are afraid of their employers. These people wake up as early as 5 a.m. because if they don't wake up early, they may not get to work on time, and that may be the end of their job. These people wear certain clothes not really because they like to, but because that's what their employer wants. My question is. Why are people so disciplined in the public when these same people are not disciplined in their private matters? The reason is that people don't love themselves enough to bury themselves. You have to love yourself enough to hate yourself. You have to love yourself enough to be disciplined when nobody is watching you. You have to love yourself enough to punish yourself by yourself. Think about it. I know a grown-up adult who goes back to school because they want to have more degrees. No, these people don't love education. They only go back to school because they hope that their degrees will help them get a promotion or a better job. And in fact, these people don't care about the promotion or better jobs. 
They only care about the money such a job will give them. Now, this is where the matter gets complex. I know many adults who don't read any books about money, self-development, or anything like that, and these same people can go back to school again and again to get degrees. What is happening here? It's simple. People are disciplined when someone watches them. People are disciplined when someone is there to grade them. Unfortunately, the same people who are disciplined enough to read academic books because of grades and degrees are not disciplined to read books that can change their life, because nobody is there to grade them for reading such books. You have to love yourself enough to discipline yourself in the private, because private is where the giants are made. Private is where the battles are won or lost. Private is where we choose to fail or to succeed. You have to love yourself enough to hate yourself when nobody is there. Love yourself enough to expose yourself to danger. Look at the forest and show me the strongest trees. They are not the trees that are protected by a thousand other trees. They are not the trees that never see the hot sun or tough wind. The strongest trees in the desert are those who are exposed to the sun, the heat, and the tough wind. Show me any strong man or woman amongst us, and I'll show you how those men have deliberately exposed themselves to the sun, the heat, and the wind of life. Jesus Christ says in the Bible, "If you keep your life, you'll lose it." That's the truth, and you must never forget that. If you keep your life, you'll lose it. Just as we love our bodies enough to expose them to the rigor of exercise, you must love your life enough to expose it to the real world. And let me tell you what will happen when you expose yourself to the real world. Yes, you'll make mistakes and fail. These failures are like the pains you experience in the gym. Those pains are holy angels for your life because the more of them you have. The stronger and smarter you'll be, and the more your chances of success. What are your dreams? Don't wait. Get out and do something. Don't let the fear of failure paralyze you, because if you do, you'll spend the rest of your life doing things you were not made for, and you'll be miserable. Birds are made to fly, and horses are made to run. No fish is happy except it can swim, and no lion is happy except he runs after its prey and destroys them. In the same vein. None of us can ever be truly happy except we do what we were made for, and this always requires that you expose yourself to the world of uncertainty, which will lead you to a lot of mistakes and failures. But I have good news for you: if you love yourself enough to hate yourself, you'll end up as a hero. Love yourself enough to have some enemies. When I decided to forego school for my entrepreneurial journey, that was the last thing my family members expected of their last child. Who was on his path to becoming the only professor in the family? Because my family members expected me to leave like everyone else, it's normal that they didn't support my decision. This ended up making my life miserable. I failed many times in the business world, but that wasn't my only pain. Emotionally, I had no one to encourage my audacity among my family members, and that was more painful than I can find a word to express right now. But here is the thing. I love myself so much that I was willing to have a few enemies. You see, I've met some people who told me that the reason why they are not pursuing the dream is that certain people don't give them the support they need. You have to love yourself enough to be a lone ranger, if need be. Love yourself enough to live your own life. Why do you think most people buy the things they can't afford? Why do you think most people use phones they can't afford? Why do you think most people use cars they can't afford? Why do you think most people live in apartments and homes they can't afford? Well, most people are lost, lost in the crowd, so much that they don't have their own life anymore. You have to love yourself enough to live your life from your head, not from what the public thinks is smart or good. For example, the phone I'm using right now is an iPhone 6, which I bought as a fairly used for less than two hundred dollars. Do I have money to buy the latest iPhone? Absolutely. So why don't I buy new iPhones? Well, I'm a utilitarian, and I have to make my family and kid think the same way. I don't buy things because they are fine, sexy, or beautiful. I buy things because I need them. This mindset has helped me greatly as an entrepreneur. If I had not been utilitarian, I would not have been able to reinvest most of my income over the years, and I'll probably be broke now. I'm not preaching that you live like me. 
I'm only advocating that you love yourself enough to be willing to endure the ridicules of the ignorant people in society. What is the single message I want to pass through this video? You see, every single individual who had been genuinely wealthy got to a point where they had to love themselves enough to hate themselves. Everyone who has achieved any significant success either in business, science or sport got to a point when they decided to do difficult things even in the secret. Every great man who has ever lived got to a point where they had to decide to die so that like a seed can grow and germinate and be fruitful. You have to love yourself enough to hate yourself. Thank you so much for watching our videos. If you like this channel, we are happy to announce to you that our team has launched three other interesting channels. One of our new channels is called Hunt TV where we publish inspirational videos to inspire and encourage you as you go through the harsh journey of life. Our second channel is called Fame TV where we share with you the interesting and inspiring stories and biographies of the successful people who have achieved greatness with their lives. Our third channel is called Money TV which is a channel designed to use more dramatic video clips to teach you about money. Look at the description box to join our three new channels. We love you.